very simple part, but very important preamble. Preamble of the Indian Constitution. Any of you remember the preamble of the Indian Constitution? You remember? Achha, kaise, kaise, kaise kiya? Sara. Achha, we learned kiya. I would like to tell you a trick. Because it's very... Now, just, just help me. Because preamble began from the with the people of India. And what is next? If we want to, we the people of India want to constitute India as a sovereign and then sovereign Sovereign, socialist come first or secular come first? Secular, then socialist, democratic republic. This was first our resolve. So first we are placing that. We are going to make India as a sovereign, secular, socialist, democratic republic. This is our first resolve. Therefore, we the people of India. But later, became it's very big, it's very easier. Although now, sovereign, secular, these are the principles, these are two terms that was incorporated by 42nd Amendment. Otherwise, then you can ask the question that whether secularism and socialism is alien for Indian constitution, answer is no. And this was the part of very much debate of Indian constitution. Because Professor Ketisha, one of the renowned members of a constituent assembly, Professor Ketisha approached Dr. Ambedkar and he said that, Mr. Ambedkar, why you are not putting secularism and socialism in our constitution? Then Dr. Ambedkar was a very pragmatic person. And he said that, why you want to put the, this secular and socialist? Because you look, our DPSP article 39 BC, our DPSP is hinting toward the socialist principle. And whenever we are having Article 25, and even later you look in the preamble, then you will see the idea of a secularism. Therefore, the term was avoided deliberately because both terms are disputed in their nature. And now people are asking the rational that why we are putting these terms, especially regarding socialism. Because now we have adopted liberal economy. Then what is the utility of socialism? That we will discuss ultimately. But how we can later remember? J. Jawaharlal. Justice. And L for Jawaharlal. Liberty. And he had a very close relation with Edwina. But Nehru was a person of him. And that is the point. He had very much interest in international relations. Edwina, and he had a fraternity with J. Jawaharlal Nehru, J. L. And then Edwina, now you can remember there. You will never forget the preamble. But you can associate learning. And that is the point what happens. We PT not have PT pass. Nahi kar sakti. Always remember. हम क्या कहते हैं जंबल अफेक्ट ये पढ़ लिया वो पढ़ लिया लास्ट में सब कुछ कंफ्यूज कर गए फोकस ओवर कॉन्सेप्ट्स आइडियाज स्टोरीज देन यू विल रिमेंबर द बेसिक फैक्ट्स एंड जस्टिस मींस फर्स्ट जस्टिस मींस सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिटिकल दैट इज जस्टिस एनी लिबर्टी मींस what an expression? Liberty means thought and expression. Ab dekho, ab, ab kaise learn karenge? Do word agar aapko yaad ho. Have you seen bullfighting? BF. Thought and expression, belief and faith. Or jab main bullfighting dekhne gaya, to W ko maine saath le liya. Akele jana muskil tha. W bike lekar a gaya, worship. 
without expression belief faith and worship and then if your equality of opportunity equality of opportunity and status and then fraternity fraternity for making unity and integrity unity and integrity and in last line now this constituent assembly remember the reference of constituent assembly is only coming in last line therefore this constituent assembly adopted enacted and giving to ourselves this constitution on 26 november 1949 it means preamble also describe about the date of acceptance of the constitution not the enforcement of the constitution and that is point you remember constituent assembly did not enacted the constitution did not make the constitution it is merely enacted who made the constitution by the people of india therefore they made the constitution it was only enacted adopted adopted means the constitution was made by people that was adopted by assembly and giving to ourselves the very important point is that the people who were sitting in the constituted assembly they were making the constitution for whom for ourselves that is point even they were the making the constitution for their own even they were maker or they were follower both and that is point giving to ourselves कई बार ऐसा नहीं लगता कि लड्डू लड्डू चढ़ा के भगवान चढ़ा खुद ही खा लिया गिविंग टू आवर सेल्फ दिस इज बेसिक्स ऑफ द प्रियम्बल नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन नाउ वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रियम्बल दैट वट इज अटिलिटी ऑफ प्रियम्बल हाउ प्रियम्बल इज अटैच विद बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस अवर इशूज वेदर प्रियम्बल कैन बी अमेंडेड और नॉट एंड हाउ how preamble is become the source of indian constitution and what actually preamble is so now we can start with the discussion yes yes evolve yes simple even yesterday i have also told that first enacted constitution was us that came with philadelphia conference enacted means there was a sitting up a assembly and then they have decided to frame a constitution therefore it was enacted enacted means it was a contract among the people but what happens in britain no constituent assembly no written piece of no no written piece of paper and that is point being a student of comparative politics if you want to study the british constitution i will say no no and there is a no such piece of there is no the british constitution and that is a point therefore it is enacted now what is a you can be remember we can begin with the fact first preamble as a social contract first heading this is question in mains preamble is a social contract here you refer the term i made the constitution or you made the constitution or we made the constitution we means who majority minority everybody we means who all everybody means the person more than is is of 18 uh, and then if everybody made the constitution they mean you law oh my god in 1947 i was not born at that time i made the constitution because you can ask the same question which was very logical in study of hobbes law and rousseau 
because people say that while studying Hobbes or Locke and Rousseau, what they said that where was the contract? I did not participate in contract. Why I should remember the contract? Because why contract is going to bind over the people who were not part of contract. Therefore, here whenever we are saying contract, this was a contract with our forefathers. But you remember, the same contract also allowed and permitting us with the help of Article 368 that we can brought about any change in our constitution. That is why we made the constitution. Here we the people, that term we the people is coming from a great philosopher, Rousseau. This was a contract. That's very interesting. Contract. Contract among the people. And how it was a con you can write. Preamble visualizes Preamble visualizes the voice of great philosopher Rousseau. Great philosopher Rousseau, who was a champion of a direct democracy. Who was champion of a direct democracy. And Rousseau also believed in the principle of social contract. Rousseau also believed in the idea of social contract. Full stop. And contract was necessary for making. Contract was necessary for making a state and government. And contract was necessary for making government. And it was equal. It was equal contract. Contract was necessary for making government. It was equal contract where everybody took part in the contract. Everybody took part in the contract. Next point. The Founding Fathers of American Constitution Founding Fathers of the American Constitution Also Incorporated Preamble Also Incorporated the Preamble which begins with with the people Founding Father of American Constitution, which also incorporated preamble, which begin with, with the people. And we know that contract always tells about consent. And consent means democratic. Contract means everybody is equal. Everybody become the part of contract. And we know that what was the aim of contract? What was the purpose of contract? Aim and purpose of contract was very simple. To make a new form of government. And you look, it was only for new form of government, a new form of society. We know that whenever we are saying sovereign, secular, socialist, democratic republic, and we can make a government in overnight. But changing society is a require a lot of time and that is point we were making a new form of society where now justice will prevail but we know that when we were entering into contract so many countries they have witnessed the contract because americans entered into contract but we cannot forget the circumstances of us which i have told you yesterday 
because the US is industrialized nation, urbanized nation, the full of capitalism. The US is industrialized and urbanized, full of capitalism, but Indian society was totally different. So how we can forget the fact that although it was a contract, but we cannot forget the circumstances. Because the position of people were not equal. That is the reason. What kind of society we want to make? Because there was a contract in Soviet Union. Even the people belonging to Soviet Union, they also sat in assembly. They also framed their constitution. But what happens in Soviet Union, in China? There was a too much focus over equality. In US, there was a too much focus over liberty. Again, we are following the golden mean of Aristotle. Yehi, yehi terms GS but being a student of political science, you should use in political science. Social contract roles. Otherwise, roles are famous. Otherwise, try to avoid the name of a scholars in GS. But in political science, that became your USP. Because, but, but again, ideas are more important. Again, I'm saying that uh, you be confused on what you Because if we are saying only by naming a scholar is sufficient, no. Idea must be crystal clear, precise, clear. Then you can name anybody. That is the point. What kind of contract we want to make? Ab ab ki contract, whether contract was fair or unfair. To ab dekho, so many people are there who said that no, it was a contract among bourgeoisie, for bourgeoisie, for bourgeoisie. No, no. This is the communist argument. Communists are saying that, oh my God, they are making contract. This is the hypocrisy because they are not speaking about inequality in society. Actually, they want to remove inequality too. But their method was different. This contract tells about method of social change. This contract tells about the form of government. This contract tells about the form of society. You can write. The makers of Indian constitution Makers of Indian Constitution were Makers of Indian Constitution were following Following the principle of golden mean Makers of Indian Constitution were following the principle of golden mean Full stop. Golden mean of Aristotle. Following the golden mean of Aristotle. And for them, for them, making a democratic republican state. For them, making a democratic Republican, Republican state was a mechanism was a mechanism for bringing about for bringing about a just society. For a just society. Next point. Soviet Union. Soviet Union opted for revolutionary and violent change. Soviet Union opted for a revolutionary and violent change in the society. However, the Constitution of India, however, the Constitution of India is based on peaceful democratic constitutional, peaceful democratic constitutional change of society.
peaceful, democratic, constitutional change of society. Peaceful, democratic, constitutional change of society. Peaceful, democratic, constitutional change of society. Next point. In liberal ideology, in liberal ideology which is accepted in the US, In liberal ideology, which is accepted in the U.S., liberty, liberty, liberty was ex liberty became the core principle of society. Full stop. Equality became the fundamental principle of socialist society like soviet union equality became the fundamental principle of socialist society like soviet union socialist society like soviet union Socialist society like Soviet Union, but the founding father of Indian Constitution, believe in the synthesis of equality and liberty. Believe in the synthesis of equality and liberty believe in synthesis of equality and liberty therefore you know that again i'm saying that this you know what is the preamble what is the preamble philosophy of indian constitution see what is the preamble it is it is a some sort of sample of indian constitution aap kabhi jaate ho kisi housing society mein to aapko flat khareedna hai वो दिखाएगा भाई देखो ये सैंपल है दिस इज सैंपल देखिए दिस इज माइक्रोकॉस्म ऑफ एन इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइंस दिस इज जी एस पी एफ वॉट जी पी एस जी पी एस ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आपको इंटर करना है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में दिस इज प्रेम्बल इट इज बिकॉज इट मीन्स देर फोर इट इज अ हॉरोस्कोप ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज जी पी एस ऑफ इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन So whatever you want to know about Indian Constitution, therefore the philosophy is written in the preamble. Because again, I am saying that in fundamentalist and DPSP, you can also see philosophy. In fundamentalist DPSP, you can see philosophy. And there, thereafter, here it is form of government too. So preamble includes form of government. Preamble includes philosophy, and ultimately we know that unity and integrity. This concern of unity and integrity was a primary concern for the maker of Indian Constitution. So we know that here we are just to, again. I want to remind you the entire debate of socialism versus liberalism. Because time and again, if you read out political theory, just you paste that in Indian government and politics. If you read out in political theory, what you will read out? Justice, liberty, equality. That you will read out in the political theory. Thereafter, you can do the paste of same in Indian Constitution. If we want to understand Indian Constitution, then justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, this become the base of Indian Constitution. And how this become the base? Because since the very beginning, what was the debate while making the Constitution of India? Because if you look the liberal ideology, what was the debate? For making the constitution of India, if we are focusing over liberal ideology, they are focusing over individual. What happens in socialism? They are focusing over 
community. That is debate between liberalism and socialism. In liberalism, they are, fa uh, they are supporting the capitalist economy. In socialism, they are supporting the socialist economy. In liberalism, what is more important? Competition, competition, prosperity, excellence. And thereafter, in socialism, fraternity, equality, that become very important. It means, what kind of society founding fathers of India want to make? And this debate is very much closely related with the theory of John Rawls. Because what happens in Soviet Union? There is no scope for Shah Rukh Khan to make a movie in Soviet Union. You, you, you the, see the very simple argument. Why is Steve Jobs in US? Why every billionaire, most of the billionaires live in US? Because of liberty. Why we are, we are having the Bollywood? Because of liberty. Not to, not to. Liberty. Can you imagine any, any film industry in Afghanistan? No. Thereafter, founding fathers of India knew that without liberty, we cannot make a nation great. Because since Plato, what they are saying that a state is not made of a tree of oak, it is made of character of individual. And therefore, we must utilize the potential of individual, even capability of individual. Therefore, we can make a nation great. And that is the point what Mill always says. You must remember thinkers. Mill always says that how a nation can become great because of liberty. And this you look, you know that why every Scandinavian nations are great because of liberty. Human resource is best in the world. And where you can optimum utilize the human resource only in a space where liberty is there. Otherwise, this is a matter of a not a surprise, because people of Afghanistan, they were lagging behind since 500 years. Still they're lagging behind. Why? No liberty. They're living like a chicken. What are you seeing? The dog is closed. And what happened? You just live your life. Whatever you do, do it. Liberty. And what happens in socialism in Soviet Union? Even what was the good quality of Soviet Union? Socialism. They have provided free of cost education. So we cannot forget the better outcome of socialist economy because they have provided free of cost education, free of cost of health, free of cost housing, unemployment wage. That was good. But we know that they never allowed to speak, they never allowed people to speak too freely. And that is harmful. How you can see only Xi Jinping is the best person to lead China? Even democracy can produce Manmohan Singh. Democracy can produce Kalam. Even you see in America, best leaders is produced by democracy. And what happens in democracy? If a leader is bad, then you have option to change. This option is not available in a autocracy. People can commit mistake once, but they may never repeat mistake next time. This option is not available in autocracy. Therefore, you look, that is point. Our constitution also taking care of the interest of Shah Rukh Khan, but interest of a marginalized section of society. We are distributing gyeong, free, le jao, chana. Abhi salt bhi de rahe hai. Ke namaka kar chuka na hai. Government is very clever. Abhi dekho, government of Rajasthan is distributing food grains. Uske saath namak dene ka purpose kya hai? Namak is not sasta hai, namak khaya hai. Boat dena. People are so simple and humble in India. Namak kar chuka rahe hai, socho. This is a contract. Therefore, it is Rawlsian contract. Rawlsian contract, liberty, quality of opportunity. And it is a without liberty, quality of opportunity, difference principle. We want to make Indian society democratic. This was innovative idea. And that is the point we have adopted a middle path. And you will be surprised now that India is one of the best democracies in the developing world where people enjoy maximum liberty. Maximum liberty. But same time with the welfare state. So we have incorporated socialist provision through DPSP, liberal provision through fundamental aid. In China, there is only DPSP. 
इवन चाइना में फंडामेंट राइट कहने को है बिकॉज यू आर नॉट अलाउड टू स्पीक इंग स्टेट देर इज नथिंग लाइक आर्टिकल थर्टी टू अदरवाइज यू लिव द पार्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल राइट दैट इज थ्री फोल्ड मोर देन इंडिया बट दैट इज नॉट एक्चुअली फंडामेंटल राइट दिस इज ओनली मेंटल राइट देर इज नथिंग लाइक फंडा नाउ यू कैन राइट यस देखो दैट इज दैट इज डेमोक्रेसी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इज ऑलवेज बीन सोसाइटी माई डियर फ्रेंड आई टेल आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वेरी हम्बल क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू मेक एन आइडियल सोसाइटी थ्रू कम्युनिज्म कुड नॉट रियलाइज दैट आई हाउ आई कैन फॉरगेट माई गांधी बाबा राम राज्य एंड दैट इज पॉइंट डू नॉट लुक फॉर परफेक्ट लुक फॉर लीज डिफेक्टेड Answer is very easy, and that is the point. You cannot imagine a society away from conflict, but at least conflict is manageable. That is point. अच्छा family में दोस्तों से conflict होता है कि नहीं? तभी दोस्ती बनी हुई है. Conflict तो होनी चाहिए. Be pragmatic, and what happens in young age? We are also become very romantic. ऐसा कैसे होगा? Now you can write. Best you can change the heading. Or one thing you can add, then you can change the heading. Next point. Without equality and liberty, without equality and liberty, fraternity will become futile. Without liberty and equality, fraternity will become futile. Without liberty and equality, fraternity will become futile. And fraternity is the best guarantee of a. Fraternity is the best guarantee of a unity and integrity of a nation. Fraternity is the best guarantee of a unity and integrity of a nation. Unity and integrity of a nation. Next heading, can write. Preamble. Preamble. and amendment of the constitution preamble and amendment of the constitution we know that life is all about amendment and you always remember constitution is a living document or a stated document therefore constitution living document and what is the even recently justice chanchur says that document constitution is a document of a educational value constitution also tells about something a educational value and therefore it living document living document means it always responds toward the outside circumstances and we know that yesterday i have told you because situations are not static in life since we are also living and what is the feature of a living organ that respond toward the external object and that is the point our founding fathers ensure that under article 368 we can amend our constitution see amendment of basically mean changing the constitution then repealing something adding something changing something that is what is written in under article 368 and according to under article 368 this power of amending the constitution is given to parliament 
and we know that although we can tell about amendment time and again but amendment is the most important part it is also it is written in the part 20th of the constitution part 20th but we know that if constitution is like a home imagine the fact that constitution like a home and thereafter we cannot enter into home without door article 368 is door therefore if you want to bring about any change in the constitution you have to take the help of article 368 without 368 you cannot amend anything in the constitution and therefore dr ambedkar said very interestingly and as far as article 368 is concerned because and what happened i will repeat article 368 time and again article 368 provide first procedure of the amendment of the constitution and what is the procedure of the amendment of the constitution it means we are it means there is no joint session of the parliament and again we need a two third majority and then president shall not exercise veto once constitutional amendment is a passed therefore and you remember just i want to remind you under article 368 is a constitutive power of parliament even here parliament is having dual role even parliament can enact a law for every day life when parliament is enacting law for every day life that is a not a constitutive power of parliament that is a legislative power of parliament there you have to make a difference you remember when parliament exercise article 368 parliament sit like a constituent assembly this is very important to be noted that debate i will do same in basic structure wherever matter of constitution come and then we can ask that what is the power of amendment procedure article 368 tells about the procedure of amendment and power of amendment power means which part is beyond the amendment and which part can be amended at all therefore even before 1973 before keshavan and bharati case supreme court said that every part of even just look the before 1967 it is said that every part of the constitution can be amended every part constitution can be amended and what happened after 67 and in 67 there was landmark golaknath case which will time and again we will repeat and golaknath case said that except fundamental right except part 3 every part can be amended no amendment of part 3 and then in 1973 in keshavan bharati case what supreme court said that except basic structure you can amend anything except basic structure and uh, golaknath case keshavan bharati case we are going to repeat time and again because these are fundamental ideas of the constitutional history because keshavan bharati case said that beside basic structure you can amend any part of the constitution and here it is a fundamental shift fundamental shift because the question is that if we have written the preamble preamble is a document preamble means that symbolizes the vision of constitution makers and that is point we know that even there is no provision for any referendum for amending the constitution you remember in so many countries there is a provision of referendum why referendum take place because whenever we are amending the constitution therefore we are doing like a constituent assembly so how we can ignore the opinion of people how we can ignore the opinion of people so because of that fact we, it is said that no it was a, there is a need of the referendum of people but in our constitu constitution no only additional majority was needed 
बिकॉज फॉर मेकिंग अ लॉ अ सिंपल मेजोरिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अमेंडिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन स्पेशल मेजोरिटी वॉज रिक्वायर्ड एनी स्पेशल मेजोरिटी मीन्स मेजोरिटी ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द हाउस प्लस टू थर्ड ऑफ प्रेजेंट इन वोटिंग strength of the house and that is point whenever we are reading out for pt read out every word carefully strength of the house there may be presence uh, present member effective member strength of house strength of house means vacancies are not taken into account absence are not taken into account strength majority of strength of house 272 in lok sabha 120 123 in council of state and then two third present in voting you can write few things first acha you can note down it that is because see what happens there is a there even tier man square even look because people are not allowed to free people not allowed to speak anything there is repression of government so people are under the shadow of fear and that is point बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स कई बार होता नहीं कि फादर इज वेरी क्रूएल देन किड्स आर नॉट सपोज टू स्पीक बट वंस किड्स आर ग्रोइंग दे आर बीटिंग ऑफ द फादर दैट सडनली चेंज तभी इसे इसीलिए ऑलवेज अलाउ द डेमोक्रेसी सो देर फोर इट मे बी शॉर्ट लिव फेनोमेना वेदर इट विल सर्वाइव इन द लॉन्ग टर्म दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ डिबेट so many people are saying that because what have what happened in the past no dictatorship survive for last and look how china become this is itself a very interesting first time any chinese president is becoming president for a lifetime otherwise this was established rule in china after two tenure now president is uh, holding the power and again i see this is what happens this is become the frankenstein monster you know sir If you look the amendment of the preamble, it means in the first stage there was no debate whether any part of the constitution can be amended or not. But later, what happened? The first point where this question of amendment of preamble came into debate. That was in case of Beru Bari. This was a Beru Bari case, and why Beru Bari? Beru Bari is a piece of land, and Beru Bari means former. It is a piece of land which we have transferred for Pakistan. Now it is a Bengal, and when we have transferred this piece of land, and government of India exercise Article Three. because article 3 says that article 3 says that parliament can give any piece of land to the any state and therefore parliament can change the boundary can the name of a state can transfer the piece of land under article 3 but the question is that whether parliament is entitled to transfer the land for any other nation that was the question then what was the question asked in berubari case first the petitioner says that parliament is not entitled to amend the preamble because preamble says that we the people of india are we the people of india are the source of power therefore for transferring that land we need a referendum we need a referendum and because our preamble says that it is we the people of india it means without and how we can take the consent of the we the people of india through referendum that was a demand now now we the people of india and people were demanding for referendum this was the first argument of the petitioner that without a referendum how parliament is entitled to transfer a piece of land first point and whether we the people of india is source of power or parliament is source of power is second point third point was that whether article article 3 is applied for the transfer of land within the india or it is also applied for outside of india 
this question was settled by berubari case you can write point wise so what were the questions which were raised before berubari case so first point supreme court said that we the people of india is not indicating is not indicating that people are source of power in india we the people of india is not indicating that people are source of power in india is not indicating that people are source of power in india full stop and here we the people have chosen parliament here we the people have chosen parliament we we the people have chosen parliament therefore no referendum is required no referendum is required for transferring a piece of land to pakistan no referendum is required for transferring a piece of land to pakistan no referendum is required for transferring a piece of pakistan therefore where we are getting power it's not we the people it's parliament because here we the people means a direct democracy in india what is the indian constituent assembly the we the people have designated parliament as a powerful institution and parliament represents the will of the people parliament is elected body therefore if parliament is doing anything on the name of the we the people it is right so it is not indicating any source of power that is the point it means that is a here being a student of political science there is a political sovereignty and legal sovereignty we the people reflect political sovereignty not legal sovereignty legal sovereignty means authority to make a law and that is the ultimate authority of parliament how we the people can make it any law because tomorrow you will say that we the people are entitled to make a law no it is a parliament which is entitled to make a law not the we the people first question was settled therefore this this belong to the parliament this can transfer by parliament second point supreme court also said that supreme court also said that preamble is not the part of the constitution supreme court also said that preamble is not part of the constitution see this was very interesting although later it was changed by the keshavan bharati case and why preamble was not part of the constitution because technically constitution began from article 1 second point and if you look the constitution normally what we are referring constitution as the highest law of the land and preamble is not indicating about any law preamble is a philosophy preamble is a moral principle preamble is other name of constitutional ethics preamble is symbolize the constitution morality therefore it may be a like introduction of the constitution it is not a part of the constitution although this became the idea of debate so the second point was there third third yes yes true i i will come over keshavan bharti just wait
see uh, objective resolution was not part of the constitution you look objective resolution was a kind of debate even yesterday supreme court said that because while listening the issue of uh, abrogation of article 370 supreme court says that do not give an argument that the debates of the constitution assembly and we can take a debate and opinion of anyone as a legal binding opinion of anybody may not be legal binding for the supreme court although here you know the supreme court also it's very subjective but time and again sometimes supreme court says that we interpret the constitution by listening the debate of the constitution assembly so that is a very fluid in fact that is point what supreme court interpret the constitution it depends upon the context and situation it's not objective next court said that court said that article 3 only empower the parliament article 3 empower the parliament article 3 empower the parliament only for article 3 empower the parliament only for only for transferring a piece of land within the territory of india empower only for transferring the land within territory of india parliament cannot transfer the piece of land to other nations like pakistan parliament cannot transfer the land to other nation like pakistan under article 3 under article 3 under article 3 does it mean that does it mean that the transfer of a land for pakistan became null and void court said it no last point court said that there is a need of the constitutional amendment under article 368 there is a need of a constitutional amendment under article 368 constitutional amendment under article 368 for for transferring a piece of land to any overseas nation or to any overseas country any overseas country here that is the point see when we start uh, reading out constitution through preamble sometime it become complex because we have to refer keshavan bharati and now berubari case settle the issue so berubari case says that yes we can amend the pre- preamble but that is under article 368 so there is no bar of parliament to amend the preamble that was established and that was also said by sankri prasad case in supreme court also said in sankri prasad case supreme court says that in sankri prasad case under article 368 and this statement is very closer to the idea of dr ambedkar what dr ambedkar says that our constitution is not rigid enough it's not rigid nor flexible you know the what is rigid constitution what do you mean rigid constitution simple why we said a rigid constitution flexible constitution there is a difference between ordinary law making power and amending the constitution two different procedures and power is required for amending the constitution we need 368 but for making ordinary law we require 245 and article 246 
for making ordinary law we need a simple majority for making the amendment of the constitution we need a special majority and the simple again in other words there is a two power of parliament parliament in fact play a dual role parliament is also entitled to make a law for everyday life and same parliament is entitled to amend the constitution when parliament make a law for everyday life this is a legislative power of parliament remember and when parliament amend the constitution that is a constituent power of parliament under article 368 so you must remember that why indian constitution rigid because the procedure which is needed for making an ordinary law is not required for amending the constitution but it need more tough majority this is the reason why we have a constitution rigid and therefore it is neither rigid nor flexible and dr ambedkar says that if somebody is dissatisfied with our constitution what they are looking for two third majority if somebody is having two third majority they can very simply amend the constitution that was uh, stated by supreme court in berubari case too and earlier i will repeat this again this was very much stated by supreme court in sankri prasad case in sankri prasad case supreme court also said that even in sankri prasad case supreme court said that it is a parliament which is entitled to amend the constitution under article 368 and there is no restriction and particularly there is a restriction of part 3 that i will discuss later in fundamental right there is a particular restriction that is mentioned in part 3 of the constitution but that was the idea of sankri prasad case but again we know that sankri prasad case says that parliament can amend any part of the constitution parliament can amend any part of the constitution provided that if parliament is adopting the procedures and powers mentioned in article 368 therefore only restriction over amendment of the constitution was a special majority procedure laid down in article 368 but here in 1967 this case was in 1950 and again in 19 1967 the delhi supreme court changed her own decision and supreme court says that parliament can change the constitution except part 3 and why it said that i will discuss that in fundamental right later but this was again change in golaknath case in golaknath case supreme court suddenly change her earlier decision and now supreme court say that except part 3 anything can be amended by the article 368 because it's a part 3 sacrosanct and why is it that what was the ground i will tell you in article in fundamental right then in 1973 then in keshavanand bharati case supreme court suddenly came with idea basic structure supreme court said that away from basic structure even parliament cannot change basic structure of the constitution even utilizing article 368 therefore what was stated by dr ambedkar in the constituent assembly that went wrong here supreme court says that basic structure cannot be amended and that is a point that is a point there is always debate in our constitution whether constitution is a document which always change or there are some permanent identity of the constitution and why keshavan and bharati case related to preamble then it is important to discuss because we have to discuss keshavan and bharati case in fundamental rights in dpsp very interestingly in keshavan and bharati case court said that fundamental right is not part of basic structure fundamental right is not part of basic structure and what is basic structure they said that we will define soul of constitution philosophy of constitution essence of constitution they are only interpreting like that but how we can connect with the preamble 
because basic structure is later we have to deal after fundamental right dpsp then power of parliament amend, uh, amendment power of parliament but how it is connected with um, uh, preamble question is that this is clarity we will discuss the same keshavan bharati case in fundamental right differently same keshavan bharati case in dpsp differently in parliament differently here we want to connect with the preamble and why because the question is that why keshavan and bharati case became very important why keshavan and bharati case became very important because the question was that how court should interpret the constitution interpretation of the constitution that became the fundamental because we know that here it is supreme court supreme court is responsible for interpreting the constitution supreme court is guardian of the constitution and the important point is that how supreme court is going to interpret the constitution that is not written anywhere in the constitution and normally initially supreme court was relying over legal method supreme court more relied over text for interpreting the constitution what was written in the constitution what was the text supreme court relied over that or supreme court relied over the debates of the constituent assembly therefore this was a historical method how we can understand the constitution through history there is historical method how we can understand the constitution through law that is a text constitution also supreme law of the land that is a point while understanding the text supreme court will only examine that whether parliament is a uh, avoiding their functional competency and what supreme court normally examine the parliament should not make a law in the domain of the legislative assembly of a state parliament should not make a law against constitution and what is written in the constitution supreme court try to read out the constitutional as it is this was a legal interpretation of the constitution that is point earlier it is said that what is a fundamental right that is a written in the article that is fundamental right you cannot demand more right what is written in article 21 what is article 21 right to life and personal liberty you cannot demand any other right therefore dd basu says that fundamental right which was written in our constitution are exhaustive in nature you cannot demand for more rights this was a legalistic interpretation of the constitution but what is the problem in legalistic interpretation of the constitution because it is not considering the changing time and circumstances because the meaning of the constitution is same but we know that even text also change according to context again i am saying that somebody sending a message to you i dash dash you so how you will understand the message depend upon what is source of message if source is my parents message meaning is some exactly different but is source is somebody's friend meaning is automatically different so what is more important text is more important or context is more important then then supreme court say historical method because if you look the historical method constituent assembly very much from that parliament is supposed to give more parliament is supposed to have more power this was opinion of our constituent assembly that's what very firm because uh, matter of fact is that even the even like american founding fathers of the constitution indians were also said that we should give more power for parliament because parliament represent the will of the people and that is essence of a democracy you must remember judiciary is non elected body what is most important in, uh, thing in democracy election bureaucracy is not elected body and then member of, then member of constituent assembly what they thought that they want to give independence to judiciary 
but not supremacy. Therefore, it is a parliament which who understand the will of the people better. Therefore, parliament understand the will of the people better. According to changing social economic context, parliament will bring about change in the constitution through Article 368. Because it is member of parliament who are better aware for the need of the people. It is member of parliament, not non-elected judiciary. But what happened? What happened later in Keshwan and Bharati case? Why Keshwan and Bharati case was unique? First time in 1973, Keshwan and Bharati case said that while interpreting the constitution, context is more important. Later is more important or spirit is more important? Spirit. Spirit became more important, not later. And that is when context became more important. What is the context? Social condition. What is context? Economic condition. And that is point. In age of technology, a right to life and liberty will change automatically. Because right to privacy came into existence because of the rising importance of technology. Now technology is very much encroaching in the privacy. Then in case of a changing environmental problem, how you will interpret the Article 21? Therefore, Article 21 means environmental rights. Envir See, context change. Otherwise, when India became independent, environment was not an issue at all. Again, even while changing the uh, social economic condition of society, there was a women's empowerment. And once there was women's empowerment, now Supreme Court says that even there is a prevention of sexual harassment. It means a right to life was change. Why? It means who will interpret the constitution? Judiciary. How it will be interpreted? Through a spirit, through philosophy of the constitution, through context. And that is point. Who know the social changes better? Judges or member of parliament? That is one of contention as of now too. So recently what Dhankar vice president said that, oh my God. Our vice president said that, no, no, it is we the people, parliament. He, people asked to Mr. Vice President, what is basic structure? Who said that parliament is basic structure? Nothing is basic structure. But you see, ask the same question to Justice Chanchud. He said that, no, it may be the opinion of my vice president. I am not agree with that. That was the fundamental point. And you look, the point is that when Supreme Court says that we have to see spirit of the constitution, philosophy of the constitution, context of the constitution, where is the context? Where is this philosophy lies? Because if you look at our constitution, merely stating the article, article 21, look the fundamental right. If you look the philosophy of fundamental right, that is coming from liberalism. But constitution is not stating the liberalism. If you look at the philosophy of DPSP, socialism, constitution is not stating socialism. And you will be surprised to listen that even our constitution does not mention the federal form of government. Our constitution mentions nowhere the parliamentary form of government. Therefore, philosophy is not written in the constitution. And therefore, from where I should get the philosophy? That philosophy... I should discover in preamble. It is preamble where I can discover the spirit of the constitution, philosophy of the constitution. That is point. Since 1973 onwards, but Supreme Court says that preamble is a part of the constitution, integral part of the constitution. And very importantly, how we can understand the constitution with help of preamble. That is point. How we can understand Article 356? Help of preamble. How we can understand Article 21? With help of preamble. You will say, how help of preamble? How 356? Because when Bomai case, when Supreme Court was considering the Bomai case, which I will tell you in the federal form of government, Supreme Court says that federalism is a basic structure of the constitution and 356 can be imposed on the ground of violation of secular principle. Secularism is a term only mentioned in the preamble. Second, 
in the case of Putta Swami, most recent case, in this Putta Swami, what government argued that we are rolling out Aadhaar for providing welfare services for the people? For providing welfare services for the people, but the petition argued that no, you are violating my right to privacy. The question is that our constitution says that equality is important, but not on the not on the pretext of violation of liberty. Otherwise, we will become like a China. That is point where Supreme Court says that dignity of individual is equally important. Privacy of individual equally important and social justice is also important. Both are not antithetical, both are not contradictory. That is the idea of a preamble. And that is point time and again Supreme Court took the help of preamble in order to interpreting and understand in the constitution. Therefore, it said that now it is a preamble which has become integral part of the constitution. Not only integral part. Most important part, therefore, Nani, Nani Palkiwala says that it is the introduction of the constitution. Even it is said that it is a horoscope of the constitution. You believe in a horoscope? It is a horoscope of the constitution. It means it is a short microcosm of the constitution. Now you can write what is said by Supreme Court while interpreting the preamble. Now you can write. Keshwan Bharti case and the preamble, which will be in a note such as a part of your note, make a part like how And I will repeat Keshwan Bharti ke thrice. Or both dhyan se dekhna. Jitne bachche padhane, both. Me kana nahi chahi kisi ko clarity kahi nahi kisi ko. Push lo kisi clarity ne baaki badi badi baat hai. Unhone yeh kaha, unhone wo kaha, unhone wo kaha. To hai kya yar tum yeh batao na. That is the problem. To clarity hone chahi. Basic si baat hai. One fifty words me likhna hai. Usse jada jane ki zarurat nahi. Strictly jane ki zarurat nahi hai. और ये देखो मैं एग्जांपल बता रहा हूं कि नाउ मोइन इज मसूरी तो अभी तो आता भी था पहले बीच में तो उसका रूममेट क्या था वो इतने नोट्स पढ़ता था वो हमारे दिन नोट्स पढ़ता था बार-बार डरता तुम्हारा होगा नहीं इतने पढ़ने से कैसे हो जाएगा ही क्वालिफाइड एग्जाम वो भी भी ऐसे पढ़ा हुआ है दिस इज बेस्ट एग्जांपल तो होता क्या है हमें लगता है कि बहुत बड़ी-बड़ी चीजें करने से होता है बेसिक ही तो मिसिंग है बेसिक में से लेकिन बड़ी बड़ी बच्चों को बहुत एक ओह माय गॉड टीचर इज वेरी नॉलेजेबल ऐसे ऐसे टर्म लाएगा ओह हो इज सेड दैट तो बच्चा सो ओह माय गॉड दिस इज समथिंग यूनिक उसको नहीं पता कि ये उसका बंटा धारे वही सब लिख रहे हैं वही 10 लोग लिख रहे हैं तो एग्जाम नर इज नेवर सेटिस्फाइड विद दैट और यार तुम तो यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ाई भी की है कोई हवा नहीं हां कंफ्यूजन इसलिए वजह पढ़ते हम ज्यादा है बस वही नोट्स पढ़ लो जो बता रहे हैं वो देख लो हाँ उसका एकदम नहीं कंफ्यूजन इज एनिमी रिमेंबर इस एग्जाम में बिलीव में मुझे लगता है नाइन्टी परसेंट लोग फेल ज्यादा पढ़ने की वजह से होते हैं जो सीरियस स्टूडेंट है या नॉन सीरियस की बात मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ जो सीरियस है मैंने देखा हो ज्यादा पढ़ने की वजह से फेल होते हैं प्रिसाइज टू दी पॉइंट रिविजन 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 देन यू विल गेट इन कुछ भी आएगा आप लिख दोगे You will get logical capacity. अच्छा इसको पीटी में गेस कर दोगे अच्छा ये आंसर गेस कर दिया वो टेस्ट री सॉल्व करने से नहीं होगा डेढ़ सौ सॉल्व कर लो रिविजन 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 बेसिक्स पे जाओ एन सी आर टी देख लो और कभी कभी पीटी के लिए और जो आपका इंडिया ईयर बुक ऑन और वो जो आपका वेयर एक्ट होता है वो रिफरेंस है वो टेक्स्ट है रिफरेंस है एन सी आर टी इज टेक्स्ट बाकी नोट्स में लिखा हुआ है कभी फुर्सत मिले मसूरी में चले जाना कितने कम पढ़ने से होता है क्योंकि कोई बार बच्चा बी एस सी करके आ रहा है तो सोचो पहली बार मेंस क्वालिफाई हुआ पहली बार वो कर दिया हमारे पास तो इंग्लिश के बच्चे हों तो मैं दोस्तों पी टी पास करो मेंस पास करो हमारी जिम्मेदारी है मजाक नहीं कर रहा हूँ मैं पी टी पास कर लो मेंस पास पास करने की जिम्मेदारी हमारी है मैं एक्सपेर, एक्सपेर, मैंने कर रखा है ना सब चीज़ें तो तरीका सिंपल लेकिन बच्चे उसको मानते नहीं और जो मान गया फिर वो अच्छा कर गया क्या लिखा आपने आप कभी नोट्स हमारा देखना नोट्स देखना जितना बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर लिखा हुआ है दो पेज में लिखा हुआ है 
उसी बात को जा किसी बच्चे से पूछ लो तो 90 परसेंट उलझ जाएंगे बता ही नहीं पाएगा पता नहीं कहाँ बात शुरू करेगा क्या करेगा क्लियरिटी नहीं है फिर वो इशूज वही है या तो शुरू करेगा वो वहां से गोलखनाथ वहां से वहां से वहां से शुरू करते तो, तो ये थोड़ा क्लियरिटी चाहिए आंसर में दोनों देखो रिटर्न में भी इन्फॉर्मेशन है तो इन्फॉर्मेशन वो देख लो कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लियरिटी यहाँ से जाती है कुछ अप्लीकेशन यहाँ से बता देंगे नोट्स में इंटर रिलेशन नहीं है यहाँ हम इंटर रिलेशन बताएंगे नोट्स में एक एक पार्ट क्लियर कट अलग अलग है यहाँ हम इंटर रिलेशन आपको बता देंगे और अभी हमने कहा कि हम कोशिश करेंगे अगर आप अगर बेसिक बात आप पढ़ सकते हो आर्टिकल वगैरह तो हम राइटिंग पर फोकस ज़्यादा कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अगर आपको पोल साइंस में स्कोर करना है तो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एंड पॉलिटिक्स एंड फॉरन पॉलिसी दीज आर कोर एरियाज जो अप्लाइड हैं देखने में ईजियर लगते हैं डिफिकल्ट है मार्क्स लेने में बच्चे थिंकर ले रहे होते हैं थिंकर चार मारने पड़ लिया थिंकर एक आ ही नहीं रहे ये तो औच पौच है क्या लिखा आपने किस वन प्रेमबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट दैट सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट दैट प्रियम्बल इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रियम्बल इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मोर ओवर प्रियम्बल इनकॉर्पोरेट मोर ओवर प्रियम्बल इनकॉर्पोरेट द फिलोसफी और स्पिरिट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मोर ओवर प्रियम्बल इनकॉर्पोरेट द फिलोसफी और स्पिरिट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फुल स्टॉप एंड वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड इंटरप्रिट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड एंड इंटरप्रिट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन With help of preamble, we can understand and interpret the Constitution with help of preamble. With help of preamble. Next point. Court also said that. Court also said that. we the people of india are not any source of law we the people of india is not any source of law in fact parliament is entitled in fact parliament is entitled to make a law in fact parliament is entitled to make a law parliament is entitled to make a law and third any component any component which is close to basic structure any component which is close to basic structure in the preamble which is close to basic structure in preamble cannot be amended by parliament cannot be amended by parliament 
under article 368. Cannot be amended by parliament under 368. And just I am telling you, what are the component of preamble which is part of basic structure? Democratic Republic, unity and integrity, even liberty, equality and justice. This, this is a trio. That is a part of basic structure. And that is point. Secularism, part of basic structure. Socialism is not part of basic structure. Therefore, now basic structure and preamble that is connected with each other. And we cannot amend the basic structure. Therefore, parliament is entitled to amend preamble, not basic structure. And that is a point. What are elements in the preamble that belong to basic structure? So many elements are there. So through basic structure, what we are visualizing, you can change the heading. Permanent identity of the constitution. If you listen carefully, one thing that was repeated by Keshwan Bharati case, which was said by Berubari case, that was a we the people of India, we the people is not source of lawmaking. Lawmaking is a authority is a parliament. That is the true. But here, here preamble became very important because that symbolizes this philosophy of the constitution, spirit of the constitution. You know the what is the philosophy? What is your philosophy? This this may be philosophy. Jindagi ke dhuye ko gum ko udhe dhuye mein udata chala gaya. What is philosophy which reflect in DP? Life is not war. Be relaxed. Philosophy. Philosophy. Live and let live others too. Philosophy. Essence. Philosophy means essence. Philosophy means extract. Juice is more important or fruit is more important. What is the preamble? Juice of the entire constitution. When juice is made, then what do you say? Now tell me what you say. All of the banana, apple, where is it? Orange, where is it? It is extract, juice of the entire constitution. That is philosophy. Philosophy means essence. Therefore, soul may be sense of my life. And that is the point, the philosophy of everyone is different in life. I can write. In fact, preamble is a permanent identity of the constitution because preamble preamble is closely attached to the principle of basic structure which cannot be taken away by parliament. Even by utilizing Article 368. Even by utilizing the Article 368, that is permanent identity. So next point, anybody who is not satisfied with Indian constitution requires two-third majority. Anybody who is not satisfied with Indian constitution requires two-third majority. And they can change the constitution while following while following procedure prescribed in article 368 but now this statement is not valid after the decision of court in Keshwan and Bharati case Therefore, therefore, basic structure is the most rigid part of the constitution. Most rigid underline. Basic structure is the most rigid part of the constitution. Which is unchangeable. which is unchangeable because it is the pillar of the constitution. Which is unchangeable because it is a pillar of the constitution.
which is pillar of the constitution. So this was very much highlighted by Supreme Court in Keshwan Bharti case and various other cases also later came. But again, I am saying that we should not read too much cases, only fundamental cases, because we are not student of law, we are student of political science. So we are more worried about the social political impact of decision of Supreme Court rather than legal explanation. So this is the first debate that whether what is the importance of this, how Supreme Court is uh, explaining about the basic structure and uh, preamble. And then preamble become very important after this decision of Keshwan Bharti case. But we know that if you say, if, if you want to ask the question that there is any scope, how the doctrine of basic structure can be changed, which I will tell you again and again and again to in uh, next topics. Answer is very simple. Only a larger bench is required. There may be 15 judges bench that is entitled to change the theory basic structure. And that is most unlikely in the present scenario. And again, we will discuss basic structure, but now I am coming over again in preamble. And what is a part which is, a, is still left out in the preamble? So you look, it is a preamble or constitutional morality. Next heading, preamble and the constitutional morality. Constitutional morality, again, look the term, always focus our basic constitution and morality.